What's up guys? I'm back and today I have a new RC on the table. Check this out guys. It's the latest and the greatest T-Max 3.3. Oh yeah. Look guys, it has TSM and it comes with a TQI controller. Well, let's get this thing out of the box. Well, there you go. It's out of the box. Oh yeah, check this out. I got the red one. I had no idea what color I was gonna get. I just said, surprise me, and this is what they picked out. Well, let's see what's underneath this body. Okay. Oh, you know, tell you about your shock spacers. Oh yeah, it's been 15 years since I've had me a Nitro, and this thing looks epic. The last one I had was the T-Max 2.5, and I was going to upgrade it to the 3.3 chassis, so I think it was new at the time, but I never got around to it. I just had so much problems, you know, trying to tune those things, and I had no help. So this time I have a couple buddies and they know what they're doing. So we're going to get this thing running. This thing is awesome. Yeah, check this out guys. I know my old 2.5 that I had, it had a plastic pipe and this 3.3, oh man, it's shiny. It looks good on here. I do remember my 2.5 if I could find a picture I'll put it up but I had RPM all the way around it I think I had the chew track rear end I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any upgrades on this but you never know until I run it but man it looks good the one thing that I'm seeing right off guys is that these body posts, it looks like they could go up just a little bit because the bumper is hitting on the front of the body and it's caught, you know, and just in order to get those down, you really have to push the body and it's sitting right on the pipe here. The back, it's not so bad. I think we could live with the back, but I think I'm going to raise that up one hole also. That'll be the first thing I do before I run it. And here you go, a shot of the bottom. You got a couple skid plates on here. I'm pretty sure you can get the RPM skid plate still. I had a set on my old one. But this here, again, is right out in the way. I'm going to see if I can find a cover. I'm wondering if I can get one to fit off of the Revo 3.3 just to cover this up. Oh, also, this thing comes with your wheelie bar. I remember I had to upgrade and put one on my 2.5. Alright, so what else is in the box? You get a sheet of stickers, you got your manual, you know, the works. You have your fuel bottle, which is nice. You're going to need one of them. And you got your charger. It's a DC charger. I don't know why on earth they would include this thing nobody ever uses these things you got your shock spacers you got your body clips you got your spare glow plug you got a spare air filter oh yeah and here is your starter this thing's pretty neat guys you know you just put it on the back and you get the motor to turn over also it comes with a battery this is your Traxxas power cell, 7.2 volt, 1800 milliamp hour. But I don't understand why they haven't updated this plug yet. This thing is outdated. But in order to fix it, I guess they'd have to update your starter. And that just costs money, I guess. 
Also, you have your little tool kit here. The only thing I'm not seeing in here is a screwdriver. You know you're going to need a screwdriver to tune this thing, but, you know, you're going to have to have your own. And uh, here is your remote. As you can see, it's the TQI, and it does have your Traxxas link. So you can go on and set up your idle speeds or whatever you need to do, endpoints. That's nice that they included that. That's pretty good for this price point. Just for comparison, we have the Traxxas Wide Max on the left here. Just wanted to see how they compare in size. It looks like the Wide Max, the wheelbase, is just a little bit longer, but not much. The T Max, on the other hand, is probably an inch, maybe two taller. So, for some reason, this Wide Max just looks wider. You can see here that it is just almost identical, but I think the Wide Max is just about a quarter inch wider. But I do have the hot racing hubs on here, so it adds like plus 20 mils or something overall. But I think if I didn't have those on and I had my stock tires, I think they would be almost identical. Also, I got a clear body. If you know my channel, I never have any kind of stock paint jobs. I'm just not a fan of all the crazy paint schemes that Traxxas comes up with. But I'm going to give this a nice paint job. I'm not sure which color I'm going to use yet. Maybe I'll do a poll and see what you guys think. The one thing that I just don't understand, check this out guys. If you look there, there's a hole for your antenna. And what I don't understand about it is the new bodies that they have, they don't have that hole. But this part has not been updated in forever. I mean, how hard is it, Traxxas? Just get rid of the hole. We don't need it anymore. Come on, guys. It comes with your sticker kit. You know, no mask kit. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to improvise because I just, I'm not a fan of the sticker windows. I like to have a nice smoked windows. It just looks more realistic to me. There you go, guys. It's out of the box. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get this thing out and rip it. If you want to see the break-in process, let me know in the comments below. Well, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Hey.